coming right there. Hey guys, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. You know, there's uh, there's always lots of back and forth that, you know, ARs are better than AKs and everything, blah, blah, blah. AKs suck, AKs this, AKs that. You gotta remember, uh, most of the time when they're comparing AK-47s to an AR, they're comparing an older AK, wooden furniture on it, and the basic gun that was built traditionally back in the day. Um, where you're trying to put it up against a modern AR that's got red dots and lasers and uh, everything else on it. They're, they're two completely different animals. If you were to compare it to that M16 from the late Vietnam era, you, you know, I'm, you see what I'm saying? That's different than the modern AR. So what I wanted to do today was I want to bring in Bobby from Tactical Edge and Bobby makes modern AK. So what I want him to do is that Bobby, I, you've got an older AK. We're gonna, I want you to talk about the, uh, the specifics of it and then we'll get into this sexy modernized monster that you build right here. So basically this is a Century Arms RAS 47. Okay, um, so this would be, um, uh, like a you know I want to say as it, close to like an AKM as, as you can get right whether it's uh, RAS 47 was or something like that uh, it's got your traditional wood furniture on there this is actually American made yeah this is a century arms yes century correct. arms mm -hmm. okay yep. and this has you know your traditional wood wood furniture on there no side folder in the rear um, it's got your optics mount on the side yep. on the receiver you know n n none of the really sexy stuff that no uh, cleaning rod no bayonet lock that yep. stuff mm -hmm. okay yep with this one now once you get out of this and you get into something like that it becomes more versatile for you know modern day applications modern day for applications. optics and stuff like that you yeah. want to talk about it a little bit more point out some of the features on like the uh, show me the muzzle brake on it. What? Because okay. that's where some of the first muzzle brake ideas came from was the slotted, uh, slanted AK. Yep. So, so this right here is a flash hider right here. Uh, they don't necessarily time this. They, uh, they use a detent right here in the yep. front, and so you you just hand tighten it, take it off right there. Um, this one right here has a pressed on uh, front sight block. This is cast. Uh, same thing with the uh, the gas tube and everything right here. This gas block. Uh, it is not as strong at all. So, ca strong. you know, casting uh, has a lot of weak points. Uh, the metallurgy is not as consistent as forgings. Now, we were talking earlier about how this was built to be mass produced. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, so, the AK 47 is a very simple uh, weapons concept. Um, guys make these. You know pretty pretty easily um it's not a whole lot to this there's a couple guys that made these things out of shovels right they're not very accurate yeah. they're not really you know what i mean but the the primitive uh nature of the ak-47 is there yeah for sure cool so all right what else we got uh we got the so that's our comrade uh that's our mm. ak-47 right what do you so, call the 74 again uh the zaitsev so you make them both Yes. You guys, the, the 74, that's the one I used on Gunny Time. There's an episode where they brought me on to show to talk about the older AK-74. I just couldn't help myself, so I got Bobby's personal AK-74, and I'm going to tell you, it ran like a champ. It really did. Show us uh, the improvements over this puppy right here. Okay, so uh, to start, we modernized the entire design of it. We still kept a stamp steel receiver. We added a tin bolt carrier group to okay. it for the added lubricity inside the rails. Um, you know, metal on metal is always a, a bad thing, you know what I mean? So you try to get as much lubricity as, as you can out of it. Uh, so we added that tin coating. Um, we enhanced the safety selector lever so you can literally get up there with your trigger finger instead of having to really yep. reach for it with this one those of you that aren't familiar with what he's talking about if we turn these guns both the same way you'll see to reach the selector lever i've got to come way up front here where right there but on his he's got this shelf that's been bent up on it and what that allows them to do before to reach the selector lever guys would actually hold in front of that magazine and then uh, sweep it down. He doesn't, and in doing that, I'm taking my hand off the pistol grip. Bobby's modern version, you don't have to do that. With that hand on the pistol grip, all he's gotta do is take that trigger finger, reach up and he can snap it down much, much faster when you're doing up drills. What it does is it allows you to keep the weapon on safe, which is what we wanna do, keep the weapon safe. You'll see guys running around overseas with this thing on fire all the time, and that's simply to save them that step. It's, it's unsafe, it is. Or they run around with no round in the chamber and their first step in a up drill is actually racking the, the bolt. So. Uh, that is my, hands down, my favorite improvement on the modern gun right there. 
Usually AK-47s get lead lap barrels, right? They're not they're not known for being concentric barrels. So mm -hmm. uh, there's other uh, suppressor companies out there that make suppressors just for that, you know, uh, like Dead Air, the yep. uh, the Wolverine, right? So we use a 4150 nitrided American-made barrel that is guaranteed to be concentric at the threads, right? So you can run a, a suppressor on there yep. and not worry about a baffle strike. We got rid of the front sight and then an additional gas block. We use an East German uh, combo block on here, so okay. it's both in one, right? So you, it really cleans up the, the front end of it. We use a rail, a traditional like AR style rail, yep. okay? Uh, we use M-Lock and then we use a railed gas tube so you could mount all your optics, all your pressure pads, all that stuff straight to the, the gas tube versus the side like this one right here. This was an afterthought uh, back in the day to put optics and things like that on it, night scopes primarily. Just seeing them, how they mount it like that on even like the SVDs, things like that. It's just, it's not a good design. And then they started going, okay, clipping things onto the, the gas tubes. Again, just would never hold a zero. Bobby and a few other modernized uh, AK companies, th this is all solid up here. It's gonna hold a good zero. Mm -hmm. That's definitely the way it should be. Yep, and doubt. then uh, all of ours are folders. So whether you get a pistol or a rifle from us, they are all folders. We awesome. kept the, the traditional AKM, which is a 5.5 millimeter, not a four and a half millimeter, so. Okay. Same magazine release, everything else stays the same. Yep. I like that you uh, maintain the traditional AK sights. Those of you that haven't played with them, uh, it, rides a, it, it rides a slope right here. It doesn't look like much of a slope, but there is a slope. When it's sat down in there, it's graduated all the way out to, yours goes out to 800. And then back here, he's got a mark that's got an S on it. Some have got an A or other markings, depending whether it's acrylic or some other language. But the, basically, that if you bring it back to that uh, marking, that's for your assault, which is basically your point blank zero out to 300. I, again, that's where almost 99.999% of the planet leaves that scope setting but it does have the ability for you to dial it all the way up, kind of like the adjustable rear sight on our M16, A2s, A4s, things like that. Inherently, this AK is not a very accurate round, and when you already mentioned the, the uh, terrible quality control on the barrels, terrible design of the barrels, what kind of shot groups are guys looking at with this stuff? You're looking at a minute. One minute at 100. Which is, guys, that's insane. Everybody brags about sniper rifles having, it's a half MOA gun, it's a quarter MOA tack driver. But the reality, the M24 sniper rifle with that uh, 118 LR ammo, the contract is like one MOA is what the standard is. So we're, he's getting that kind of accuracy out of it. So dude, that that's awesome. I see you running, uh, that's an aim point on that one. Correct, yep, we run aim point optics on all of our guns. Uh, mm -hmm. Our sub gun, we do run a Leupold, but uh, for the most part, it's either a T1 or a T2. And guys, whether you're running, you know I'm a big fan of a rifle for home defense. Uh, it does not have to be an AR. If you're an AK person, AR person, whatever person you are, all I ask for home defense is you got to have an optic, set yourself up for success, and you've got to have a light. You can't put that on this, you can't. But yeah, you can see he's got plenty of room for furniture on there. Even a hand stop. Even a hand stop. And that's your, who, that Kawa designed that one? Yeah, Kawa designed this one. Uh, it's our AAH, our advanced angle hand stop. Um, we do it in Kimon and M-Lock, but it, it allows you to get a really nice grip on either your rifle yeah. or, or the AK. I see Z running it on, mm -hmm. uh, Z runs it on his AR all the time. What about, what's the make on your, your uh, break there? So we use a Surefire. Um, all of our new comrades that, that we're releasing now, okay. uh, we're, they're going to come with a dead air mount. A lot of guys are fans of the dead air cans. I just got a dead air can. Uh, let me rephrase that. I got a dead air can a year ago, and I literally <laughs> just yesterday got the email that uh, it's been released by ATF uh, Prison. I finally got my tax stamp in. Okay. Yay. So okay. we'll get to shoot that yeah. in one of our upcoming videos. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Last comments. 
Uh, no, if you guys are looking for an AK, uh, absolutely do your do your research. There's a lot of guys that make AKs out there right now. Uh, get something that's going to last. Um, get something, some of the things you want to look for. Get something with a forged trunnion in the front and the rear, um, you know, and, and get a good barrel. Those are all the key, the critical key components to an AK that you're going to want to start looking for. Awesome, well, brother. I appreciate your time. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks and, for having uh, me on. All right, uh, y'all check out uh, a little bit of the B-roll shooting. We're going to toss at the end here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Y'all take care. Shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.